Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? I have Juvia's Place Wahala 2 palette here with me and basically I just wanted to test it out, see what it looks like. I have really quite dug into that. So if you want to see some face swatches and see how I created this look, then this is the video for you. Do please keep on watching. Yeah, I know. I got them on Halloween, so... I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna wear them whenever I want. Let's get down to these face swatches because that's what we're here for. I think I'm gonna do this column by column because there's a sort of a cohesive color story when you look at it that way. Um, I like some of them are glitters, so they're gonna be interesting to swatch. Cool, okay. So we have, well, we'll see if they turn up on my skin because I'm very, very white. Uh, we have Fame, ooh, Greed, interesting, uh, Shakara, Shakara, not Shakira, hmm. Ambitious, and this is the glitter, so we'll see how this one goes. It's Gobe, G-O-B-E, like the Gobi Desert. Jeez, that swatch as well, doesn't it? My lord. I'm not, I'm not unhappy with that. Uh, so then the next kind of, it's quite a blue palette. Like it is very blue centered, which I don't hate. Obviously I prefer green, but like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we have Nawa O. Then Wicked. Which, you know, I feel like it probably isn't a, a nod to the musical, but I kind of want it to be. We have Amiibo, that here, Amiibo. There you go, right into the hairline. Uh, we have Fury, let's give myself some new eyebrows. Yeah, and Rage. God, there's a very specific theme, isn't there? Let's, let's try Fury and Rage again, because, you know, I am that person. Eh. Yeah, they look samey, like one is obviously a shimmer and one is not. <laughs> Look at all myself in the viewfinder and I'm like, oh my god, you've clearly lost your mind. I mean, yeah, yeah, but the, the weird pretend eyebrows are what does it to me, like that's, that's quite fun. Um, we're on to the third column now, so we have Dream, yeah. Uh, goals, which is a glitter. So let's see how that goes. Oh, oh, you don't need to use a, a like a primer or anything. Look at that. That's really good. Jeez, they need to do more of these. Uh, there's three glitters in the palette all together. We have dope, which you know, if you call somebody a dope here in Ireland, it's like you know they're an idiot. We have bold and money. Oh God, I spent too much recently. That's, that's what they look like. That's right, we're halfway through, I'm doing well. I've never looked so good. It's like every time I do face swatches, I'm like, I couldn't possibly get more beautiful. And then I do, and I'm like, how? How is this happening? Don't know how to pronounce this. This is Egg by Me. Don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I will try. This is Venom. We have Lust. And Hater. This is giving me um, Melt Smoke Sessions vibes. Just the colour story here. And Jealous. Which I assume you are right now because, I mean, look at me. Could I be any more beautiful? No. It's okay though. One day. One day you'll get there. Now we're on to the penultimate row. Oh, there's, sorry, there's another glitter that I didn't realise. So there's four glitters in here. I'm very sorry. Uh, we have Wasted, 419. I don't know what the significance of that is. So this is the, the glitter. They're really nice. They're really nice. This is Lit. Please don't look at my awful, awful skin. We have Period. Spelled P-E-R-I-O-D-T. 
Was that meant to be a thing? Who knows? Oh, wow. Okay. And ASAP. Cover up my spots. There we go. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. And very, 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 very last column. Uh, oh, there's some interesting names there. Mostly just the first name I found interesting. So, oh, this is a duochrome. And this is not going to turn up properly on the camera, but it's a pink to green. So, yeah. So this is fake. You can kind of see it there, how it turns green. That's, that's quite cool. I didn't realise that was a, a duochrome. There we go. We have, well, it kind of makes sense then that it's called fake because it doesn't look how it looks in the pan because in the pan it looks pink. That's smart. Then we have too much. Yeah. Then we have colo, which is a glitter. K-O-L-O. -O. Ooh. Yeah. Then yab. I'm assuming these are like Kind of African names that I don't understand, but I think that's quite cool. And Oya, or, or Oya, I don't really know if I'm pronouncing it right. But that's it. That's all of the face swatches. I'm very interested in that. Well, can I? Yeah, I can do that. This is my channel. I'm gonna take that shade fake again. I just wanna smear it here, just so you can get a better look at it. You're welcome. Jeez Louise, that is good. I didn't even realise there was a multi-chrome in it or a duochrome. That is how out of it I am. Ja, I'm going to go and obviously wash all of this off and then we're going to sit down and do something together. Makeup together. Not like a crossword or something because I'm really not good at those. Look at my wonky eyebrows. You're welcome. I mean, do I regret doing glitter face swatches? No, because now I look like a fabulous twilight vampire. Glitter all over the place. So um, that's going to be here for the next three weeks because it takes approximately that long to get rid of glitter. Um, I, of course, have no idea what it is that I'm going to do when I sit down. So I feel a bit overwhelmed. But I... Um, mm -mm -mm. Somebody needs to come here and help me. Uh, and and not let me put the brush in my mouth because I have a strong urge to do that. I, um, okay, okay. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, brush. It's called Sketch It Out by Beauty Bay. And I'm going to go into uh, Egg by Me. Egg by my? I don't really know if I'm pronouncing it right. And uh, yeah, I'm going to... Attempt to do something. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna pop that there on the inner, on the inner, on the inner corner of the eye and just shove that there in a loving way, you know? On you go. Don't know what I'm doing. It's a very blue color story. You know, so if you don't like blue, this is not going to be a palette for you. I was genuinely surprised about that duochrome. I didn't even realise the palette had a duochrome. I just like bought it in such a rush that I was like, quickly get it before it sells out. FOMO, FOMO. Took forever to arrive though. My God, I've been waiting on this for so long. It's not even funny. Like I don't know why it took so long. Just putting this through the colour switch because you know me, I'm lazy and I can't be bothered to pick up another brush. And I'm using the same brush again and I'm going into Dream. And that just makes me think of Dream Girls. So, you know, that's where my mind is right now. Uh, who knows, we might have that as a movie that we watch together on Patreon because I did just start a Patreon. And um, one of the things that we've decided to do is, like, we're going to have, like, some Zoom parties and hang out together, but I also want to have it so that we could like maybe watch musicals or whatever together and just generally hang out. So that that's my idea along things. Who knows? We'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see. But yeah, Dream Girls made me think of that. 
that could be a thing. No, that isn't even the lyrics. I, I don't even know. I'm very tired. I'm constantly tired. Okay, so this is coming out interestingly. I don't know what I'm doing. Standard. Standard. Am I even going to try and get this to match? I don't know. Partly because I have, like, this eyebrow is less full than this one. It's very odd. Okay, so that's that bit done. Um, I am going to take this Beauty Bay brush. It's round the blend. It came as part of a set. Quite enjoying it, I have to say. And I think I'm going to go into the shade Jealous, which is this one here. And, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. And I'm going to smack that on top of the, the darker one and just swish swish like you mean it has anyone seen um sing street it's such a good musical i love it so it's an irish film actually i might actually put that down as like a list of things for us to watch but you know my patreon is a democracy so whatever the crowd wants Apart from, like, you know, negative things, you know. Overthrow the patriarchy? Well, we'll try. We will try. It's blending quite nicely. No, no massive issue on that. I just wish I had more lid space. You know? Like, I feel like I don't have enough lid space. Anyone else feel that? Like they really got gypped when it comes to lid space. Elena doesn't. Elena has the best lid space. It's very annoying. She, and she doesn't appreciate it. She doesn't. It's totally wasted on her. I'm joking. It isn't. She does amazing things with it. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with that. I am going to take the same brush again because I'm lazy. You know the drill. And I'm going to go into the shade. Wicked, which is that one there, and yeah, just smack that on top of the dark blue because I can't be bothered to think of anything new and interesting to do. So, there you go. Pause. I'm just gonna try and blend it out a bit. Okay, so this is a little bit patchy, well, not wildly patchy, but like we can totally fix it, and I think, yeah. I'm going to take this dubious place brush, because, you know, why not? And I'm going to, what is it? Is there a name on it? No, there isn't. Sorry, I have to, like, squint one eye because that's where I am with my life. And I'm going to go back into Egg of Me, which is that one, and just kind of try and blend that up so it kind of swishes in with the paler green a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to use this Jessup uh, 221 Look Soft Crease, and I'm going to go into that shade and just swish gently. I think it should kind of do it a little bit softer because I think that was too packed, so like the, the other brush was just too packed, so it wasn't giving me the, the finish I needed. She says like she knows what she's talking about. I don't. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that looks nice. That will do, pig. That will do. I'm taking this melt brush, I think it's called Transition. Yeah, it came as part of the Amore Eternal collection. And I'm going into that dark blue again, so Dream. And just in an attempt to kind of deepen it a bit more. You know, really just smack it in there. And just swishy, swishy. Okay, a little bit of trouble in terms of trying to blend out the blue. So, you know, I'm not I'm not 100% certain on that one. I'm going to take this big fluffy brush. It is uh, JF13 uh, Drip Powder. So I say it's more for the face, but sure, look, I can do what I like. This is my face. And I'm going to go into the shade Fame, which is this one here. And again, just want to put it along the brow bone. Are you that surprised? This is just kind of what I do. I tend to just do the same thing over and over again, but with slightly different colours. There we go. Let's make you frosty. Frosty, the snowman. From based on the swatches, um, I kind of think I probably don't need glitter glue when I'm using the glitters. Um, she said optimistically. Uh, so we'll we'll see. I'm gonna go back in 
with dream again just to kind of blend it up again so what i'm going to do now because apparently i'm willing to dice with death that was very dramatic that was too dramatic for what it was meant to be but whatevs it's fine i am yeah i'm gonna go in to is it, yeah, it's gonna happen. Okay, so I have this spatula. I'm not gonna bother, like, really figuring out exactly what it is. I'm just gonna do a partial cut crease. I'm gonna go into Gobi. Yeah, I'm gonna use a ton of glitters because I feel like a yay, everything's fine. And I'm just gonna pop that there. Oh, oh, look at that. Absolutely no problem getting that on. That does make me want to weep. Yep. Okay, I'll take it. I, I do love it when you don't have to use a glitter glue. So that's really pleased me and it's nice and densely packed. Like I'm not having to go back in with it too many times, which is nice. I'm going to hit pan on that at some point. I know I will. God, these are lovely. Dubious Place need to do more glitters. They are really good at these. Like, really good. This is really nice quality. This might be one of my favourite glitter formulas that I've ever tried. Just saying, I think that's fabulous. Um, yeah, I want to use more glitter because why not? I'm going to go into goals, which for a second I thought it was goats, which would be far more interesting, wouldn't it? Um, this reminds me a little bit of, they have a blue sort of a glitter in the Wahala 1 palette. So, I don't know how much it's differentiated, but, oh my god. Oh, sorry. Oh, hello. Oh my god, I regret nothing. This is, yeah. Oh. Okay, this was worth waiting for. I'm really happy with this. Just the glitter is alone. I'll take it. I'll take it. This is good. This pleases me. Also, I, I hugely recommend getting like a spatula. I got this. It's a Sigma one. They're fantastic. I feel a little bit like a fabulous mermaid. I'm kind of loving it. I, okay, so I've now used two out of the four glitters. I'm going to use another one. I, look, I can do what I want. I'm going into the shade Colo. Because why not? I can do what I like. You're not my real mom. And if you are, Jesus, what are you doing watching? Um, I'm just going to smack that there. Oh, these are lovely. And it's really interesting that there's different textures to the glitters. Like this is mu a much more fine glitter. I think it's quite cool that they went for different textures. Okay, so that's that bit. And I think what I'm gonna do again is take the transition brush again and go into dreams. Cause I can do what I like. And I'm just gonna smack that there. Cause again, I can do what I want. I'm trying to not put glitter in my eye, but inevitably will. Oh well, it is what it is. Is it a weird look? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure some people would have a lot to say about the fact that, you know, there's no kind of, what do you call it? What's the word? Words are hard, but there's lines between them. So I'm just going to sway a little bit here so that it's not like such a harsh line. Yeah, it's not as obvious a line now, one would hope. I like how I'm using like the royal one. Or am I off to notions? It's far more blue on, on this eye than there is on that eye, but like, you know, whatever, it'll do. Um Yeah, I think like I'm quite happy with how that's coming out. I want some sort of a smudgy brush. Yeah, so I have this brush here. It is the Jessup 226 Smudger. And I'm going to go into the shade Too Much. 
which is that one there. Don't know what I'm doing. This is, do I, yeah, what's going on? I'm just gonna pop that. This is very 80s. I'm kind of here for it though. And I'll clean it all up anyway, so. Again, taking the same brush again and going into Dreams. I'll be surprised because I've been using that a lot. And just laying that down. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. What I'm going to do now is just F off and do the rest of my makeup and we will come back and have a little chat and see how it all looks when it's all put together. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have glitter all over myself and my skin is just looking terrible but let's zoom you in so you can see what the eyes actually look like at the end of the day. So this is what the eyes look like. Very glittery, very mermaidy. Um, I did struggle with the lashes but that has nothing to do with the palette. But this is what it looks like. Okay so that was the look. Um, in terms of what I think of the palette I thought it was really really nice the glitters are insane like they are so good i couldn't get over that there was a dual chrome in there i want to play with that a little bit more the mattes i wanted to go for the blues because blues are always notoriously difficult to formulate they actually worked pretty darn well i had a little bit of patchiness but i was able to resolve it so in all i think it actually came out pretty darn well i would probably give this an 8 out of 10. Uh, the reason why I'm taking some marks off is just that there are some colours that I kind of can't figure out why they're in there. Uh, it just, it's not as cohesive as it necessarily could be. The glitters are fabulous, like absolutely spectacular. I would highly recommend that. But yeah, an 8 out of 10, I feel pretty confident uh, recommending those. Uh, but that is it. That is the end of the video. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Do please share because sharing is caring unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case, you know, wrap it up. Don't be gross. But that is it. That is the end of the video and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.